Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away, and we now got stage 9 of Hero Collector and Eagle Moss's release of Build Your Own Ecto-1. Okay, in this issue we're going to be doing the carburetor and the air filter. We're working a lot on the engine. Now you can see the pink mat here. I can assure you I'm not in distress. It's just that a lot of people are saying that I, they can actually see the details of the engine better on the pink mat. But rest assured, I have uh, ordered some new mats. So uh, if I do believe there's going to be a clash, I'll be able to change them. We've got some weird and funky colours coming, I'll tell you. Anyway, look, this is what we've got to do. Uh, we're going to be doing the uh, fast idle cam here. We're going to be attaching that to the engine. Then we're going to be doing the air filter. It doesn't look like there's a lot to do in this part, uh, but there is a lot of fiddly little bits to put on. Now, the air filter is held on by one screw here. Uh, the trouble is that when that's on, it's going to be really hard to put the uh, HT leads into the distributor. So uh, I will put it on, but we probably are going to have to take that off again when we put the HT leads in. So uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. Now the first bits are really tiny. We've got the fast idle support arm and a bracket as well to go into it. Now this tiny bracket here looks like that. There's a lot of small pieces in here, so I'm showing you what that looks like. As you can see on this side here, the uh, lug is actually a detail which comes out slightly further. That's gonna help when we actually put it into this section here, because as you can see, you've got a slight little hole above the screw hole that this is gonna be able to fit in, nice and flush, and that's gonna be held in with a BP screw. So I've got it already loaded up here, so we'll get that in. Just to start it. And there we go, and now I can hold it where it's gonna go and tighten that up. A Little bit fiddly, this one. So now I've got that detail in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it in place with some pliers here, just so I can get that nice and tight without it moving. There we go. And that's in perfectly like that and that's the arm and support bracket attached together. Now we've got the fast idle cam looking like that, and as you can see, it's got a keyhole design on there, which is gonna help us line it up with the same keyhole design uh, that we've got on the support there. That's just gonna go in like that, but this one is gonna be held in with an EP screw. Now the screw goes in from this way, so it might be best to, because it's flat on one side, is just to keep it flat on your workstation there and then screw it in. And make sure this is nice and tight as well. Now this part here is the underside of the carburetor. So if we hold it this way around, the uh, section that we've just done here is gonna go on just like that. Now this is gonna be secured into place with a GP screw. So in the three stages that we've just done there, <laughs> we've used three different kinds of screw, which can get a little bit confusing. So I've opened that out here. These are quite stubby little things, these screws, but this is now certainly gonna fill up my uh, screw box that I've got, because uh, they do give us spares, which I think is absolutely brilliant. But uh, let's tighten that one up. Now we need to put the fuel inlet in, another tidy bit here. Following the same idea that the details here, as you can see, we do have a lug just on this side, which is gonna help you line it up with the holes there. You've got two holes there, one's for the lug, and one's for the screw. So when that's in, it's gonna fit pretty easy in there, just like that. And that lug's also gonna help it when it comes to screwing in there. We're gonna be securing this in with a GP screw as well. So I've got that here. Let's get that loaded up. These are very tiny screws. And then we screw that in. Not having to use my uh, glasses at the moment, you'd be pleased to know. And there we go, when that's in, that's gonna look just like that. And then on the last side, we've got the uh, choke cap, which looks just like this. And this is gonna go in exactly the same way. Once again, we've got a little lug just on the back there. It's gonna go in this side to seat that properly in there. And this is once again gonna be held in with a GP screw. And I'm sure that you'll agree with me, but this is just the carburetor and the amount of details just for the carburetor is pretty amazing. So now we're gonna be bringing over the engine that we worked on first time, because we're gonna be installing the carburetor on it. Now the carburetor, as you can see, has got a little keyhole there, which is gonna go just on top of the engine block right there. So we can just put that on like this. Push it down. So it's fitting perfectly flat. Then we've got this little pipe here, 
looking just like that. You're probably going to need your tweezers to attach this because we're going to be connecting the fuel pipe up. So I've got my tweezers here. One end is going to go into, and I hesitate to use the word nipple, <laughs> of the carburetor there on the fuel pipe side of it. And the other end is going to go into the tap here of the fuel filter. So we'll put that in here and get that pushed into place. Now the fun of these builds is you can always do all the tidy up with the wires afterwards. But as you can see, that wire's in place, connecting the carburetor with the fuel filter there. Now we can put that to one side because we're gonna be working on the air filter now. Now this comes in several stages. The first thing we're gonna do is take the inlet for the air filter there, it's gonna go through this tab here. So we can push that in when it's seated absolutely square in there it covers a hole just down there for us to put an ep screw now i've got those ready as well so i'll put that screw in just like this did want to move around there but i've stopped that doing that there we go nice and tight then it wants us to put the uh, engine block here again. So I'm going to try and put that center so you can see, because we're going to be putting the uh, intake manifold just over the top here, which is going to sit here. Now, once again, I'm going to say we will take this off because if you look, the distributor's here, but as soon as this is on, it's going to be very fiddly to put the wires in there. But that's that section on there. Now, just so you know, when you do put the top on, you have got a little tab there, which has got to go into that space in there just like this so when the top's on it's going to fit perfectly flat just like that uh, but once again i am just going to put this back over the carburetor there so it fits perfectly on there and we'll get this secured in with a dp screw knowing that i am probably going to have to take that dp screw out of there and that is the air filter on and the only other thing we've got to do is just put this cap into the air filter there and I'm going to drop it in I'm not gluing it I'm not pushing it in too far because as I said we probably will have to uh, take this out again so I'm going to leave it just like that at the moment which is quite loose in there but that is the air filter on the engine and that is also all we have to do in stage nine so what do you think of that? Not as fiddly as the last one. In the next issue, we're going to be doing the generator and the oil filter. And uh, that one has also got a lot of tiny pieces in there. So uh, I'm actually really enjoying this engine. And as someone did mention, you do get to see this engine on the finished model. So it's best to make this as detailed and perfect as possible because you just know you're going to want to lift that bonnet to have a look at it. Anyway, listen, this is still available to order. If you want to order this yourself, the links are in the description. And I've also put a little banner here so you can follow that. If you're in the US, uh, just follow the bottom one. If you're in the UK, uh, obviously follow your flag. Uh, but I really do hope you like that video release today. I will be doing a live stream tonight at 8 o'clock, so be sure to check in with that. Other than that, take care.